I graduated last year with a degree in psychology and I didn't want to be a nurse at all actually. Um, I kind of wanted to be a counselor. I was a research coordinator up at the Veterans Hospital in um, White River Junction, Vermont. Um, and I was working on a depression study. I had a couple guys cry in my office and just sitting there not being able to do anything or say anything to them or say, oh, you know, how's your antidepressant working for you? I was a professional brewer. I moved up to Boston to help open up a brewery. I got really into the science aspect of it. I guess that's the beauty of this program too. Kinda, a lot of us kind of come from different backgrounds. For me, I've always been interested in the connection between the mind and the body. So I looked at different health professions and just decided that being a nurse practitioner was the perfect fit for that. This program was, it's the perfect blend of really, a lot of us are still very medically minded. We're very, it's allopathic and it's osteopathic, but we need that human connection. I've always known of the Boston College School of Nursing as having an excellent reputation, so it seemed like one of the first places to look when I decided that this is what I wanted to do. For those of us that aren't from here, 21 months also makes a huge difference because you're not uprooting your life. You're out earlier working, you know, you can make money earlier, um, you just get more experience earlier. I've gone through a lot of life choices with work and, and I wanted to get this, you know, profession started. Boston's the hub of, you know, the medical nation. It's crazy and, you know, there's Mass General and Boston Children's Hospital and all that. I came from a huge undergrad school. Here, ev like everyone recognizes you, everyone knows you, the class is so small. So you really feel like you're in a support system that's really, really intense. First semester of nursing science, we had it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it was really intense. I mean, you're typing at the speed of light. Clinical gives you something tangible to put to this theory that you're learning. So you can learn all about it in class, but I, for me, clinical really solidifies like the foundation of what you learned in class. That first semester at Med Surge Clinical is where you like learn the, the groundwork for everything else. I think it's also awesome to stress like just how little we knew. Like zero. Like baseline, I think all of us came into this with nothing. Nothing to offer. We got a huge variety of patients with a huge variety of different conditions. So you were really thrown in. And at first it kind of seemed like a different language, there are so many abbreviations, so many diseases I had never <laughs> seen and I'd look all these up at night and then all of a sudden wake up at five something in the morning before the sun was even up to take the tea to get to MGH but then you see all these other people in scrubs taking the tea too and it's kind of like a sisterhood or brotherhood. It got easier as, as the semester got, you know, got longer and you got used to all the abbreviations, you didn't have to look up as many meds and all that stuff. But I had a really great preceptor um, and she taught me a lot. And so by the end of the first semester, I, you know, also sort of felt like I knew what I was doing and I could walk into a patient's room really confidently and, you know, just be able to strike up a conversation on how they were doing and what they needed and, you know, there's no more panic of, oh my gosh, I have to take their blood pressure, do I know how to do this? <laughs> yeah, I find it an awesome way to learn to learn things in class and then see them in clinical. It really helps me remember because it's like the most ideal way to learn. Our small relative size along with you know, the intensity of the program definitely, you know, made us bond a lot faster and we were kind of all freaking out together. It was helpful to be able to vent to, you know, these people who you're with every single day about every single situation that was stressful. Well, I know even before we even, many of us stepped foot onto this campus, we had a Facebook group going and so that, I think, in itself was a huge bonding experience. We really, really are in the same boat with this and you sleep little and you work a lot, but it's a helpful reminder that you're not alone. We all work together and it really helps me understand it working with other intelligent people who are so interested and passionate about this field. As a you know, family nurse practitioner student, um, I will you know, see a wide array of, of patients and you know, I still have my nurse practitioner clinicals to do. Um, I get more and more excited about what I'm going to do every day. I think that this year has really given an awesome foundation to nursing and I really think I've learned so much medically but also really trained my thinking to think like a nurse and I'm so excited to now go into the nurse practitioner role. My hope for the future is to just help people. I mean to see a patient and say 
okay and take this assessment of them and then say okay I know how to help them they are gonna come to me looking up to me you know and I get to say okay let's sit down let's talk about this and let's figure out what's best for you to me this program was almost like a godsend you go on this weird journey to get there and when you get there it just it fits and you can't imagine doing anything else and you really you extract those like the best parts of yourself whether it's how much you love helping people or how much you how passionate you are about this specialty or and you kind of roll it up into this little ball and that's nurse practitioning so i don't think you can be prepared the whole point is that you weren't and it kind of it finds you and then there's nothing else you can do except for do it and do it well